Xanthalasma liver disease. Xanthalasma, also known as Xanthalasma palpebra, is a well-defined, flat, slightly elevated, sometimes with a dipped interior, yellowish growth that typically occurs on the sides of the eyelids. It consists of cholesterol deposits that accumulate under the skin and is not usually associated with a clear clinical diagnosis. Although about 50% of patients with xanthalasma have normal serum cholesterol levels, some studies have shown that the presence of xanthalasma is a risk factor for atherosclerotic mortality regardless of cholesterol levels. Small studies suggest that even if cholesterol levels are normal, it can be a factor of heart disease or stroke. About half of all patients with xanthalasma had elevated lipid levels, which are often associated with or inherited from hereditary cholesterol. Therefore, xanthalasma should be considered as a marker of dyslipidemia, and a complete lipid profile that identifies more subtle lipid abnormalities that are still associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease should have been considered. It has also been reported that some of them may have increased LDL slash VLDL and decreased HDL as well as increased triglycerides. Familial hypercholesterolemia and familial dyspatolipoproteinemia should be considered in patients who develop xanthalasma at a young age. Premature corneal arches have been reported, which are often associated with familial hypercholesterolemia. Familial hypercholesterolemia is also common in people with xanthalasma because of a mutation on chromosome 19, which is caused by mutations on chromosome 19. What is xanthalasma liver disease? Clinical criteria for diagnosis of this disease are continued hepatomegaly, liver dysfunction and liver failure, and liver damage. Ultrasound images of the liver are an important tool for detecting the presence of xanthalasma and other liver diseases such as cirrhosis, hepatotoxicity or liver cancer. It can also help in the identification of liver diseases, especially in people with liver problems such as liver tumors or liver disease. If the disease is focused, it can be difficult to distinguish between a mass and a lesion and requires a follow-up examination, a biopsy. To diagnose cancer, a hepatic component must be found, although this is occasionally a feature that does not occur in xanthalasma or other liver diseases such as cirrhosis. Granulomatous liver disease is more accurately classified as an infiltrative disease and is discussed as a pattern of liver enzyme abnormalities similar to cholestasis, which is common in patients with xanthalasma and other liver diseases such as cirrhosis. Cirrhosis was replaced by cholangitis to adequately describe damaged intralobular bile ducts, while retaining the acronym PBC3. Fatty acid suppresses the production of bileic acid and increases the flow of bileic acid, thereby reducing the risk of liver failure, cirrhosis and liver transplantation. Side effects of obeticolic acid include increased itching and increased blood lipid levels. This in turn for over 50% of patients in turn caused a manifestation of either external xanthomas or eyelid xanthalasma. Drugs that suppress the immune system may also be prescribed including anti-inflammatory drugs such as antigens, antifungals and immunosuppressant drugs. Liver disease on a whole. If a person has terminal liver disease, a liver transplant may be necessary for survival. If the patient suffers from liver disease and the basic liver function tests ordered are normal, but the hepatomegaly is still visible months later at the next visit, the possibility of alcoholic fatty liver may arise. If there is reason to believe that the patient is trying to hide a drinking problem, you should check serum gamma blue tamyl transpeptidase levels at this point. Xanthalasma liver and eyelid xanthalasma. Xanthalasma liver disease is obviously named, due to it affects the liver of the patient. Xanthalasma when they appear externally on the eyes lids is called xanthalasma palpebrarum, or xanthalasma palpebra for short. Your body is an amazing place, with skin conditions that appear near your eyes, being linked to your liver. If you wanted to know a lot more about, not only xanthalasma palpebrarum or the underlying effects of high cholesterol profiles and distorted lipid ranges, then go to xanthal.com or xanthalasmatreatment.com.